Hi, hi everyone. Am I audible? So let me just check it. So fertilization in flowering plant anyway this is not showing if I'm live or not. So one second let me just check it. Alright, so let's have a look at the fertilization in flowering plant. Okay. So what exactly happens? All right. So what exactly is fertilization product and you know, uh, what is the fertilization process? All right. So before that, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Vani Kari, biology educator at an academy. I'm an engineer with bachelor's and master's degree in biotechnology and a BA degree. Also a founder of a startup where I grow microgreens by vertical farming technology. Okay, so I'm audible, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so join with us in Telegram for homework and class notes. You can join the channel. Uh, Vani Kari ICSE class 9 and 10 biology. Okay. So you can also search it as class 9 and 10 biology. Then, you know, the Telegram channel that is an academy ICSE and ISE both. So this link you will find in the description so you can click on the uh, link and uh, join the channel there okay so special classes we conduct special classes on an academy platform so learn from your favorite educator for free engage with educators via polls okay so clear your doubts in live special class so there is a separate question tab where you can clear your doubts so for the top special classes you can visit the link in the description okay so an academy subscription features you can learn live from the comfort of your home unlimited access to all the courses you know different educators will come up with different courses so you will have access to all the courses once you take the subscription then top educators of india are going to take the class in one platform there is a regular doubt clearing session so after about every three sessions the fourth session will be doubt clearing session okay so any doubt you have related to the topics that are previously covered so you can clear your doubts in this doubt clearing session then complete syllabus will be covered mentorship and guidance is given study material is given practice test life test series and batch courses so you know depending on your preference you can either go for the english batch or a um, you know english batch or a hindi batch so this is completely your choice and you know you will have access to all the batches once you take the subscription so there is daily practice section along with that weekly mock test series live quizzes daily mcq and subjective test series will also be conducted so now for class 9 okay uh, you can try with six months of subscription okay so basically you know um, uh, you can use this code vani yt so with this code you will be getting 10 percent discount on the subscription okay so then uh, if you are planning so those who are entering class 9 now okay so you can also go with uh, 12 months of subscription and you know associated with 12 months of subscription so there is an offer that is going on right now okay so you will be subscribing for 12 months or above okay so extra two months you are getting so that means 14 months of subscription you will be getting 
with the three months of creative corner okay so that is three months of creative corner is creative corner is basically you will have access to different you know art and uh, craft like your, your hobbies basically like you know chess or maybe with mathematics astronomy astrophysics workshops so different educators who are conducting these workshops so those you will have access to those workshops okay and uh, the offer is only till tomorrow that is wednesday so if you are planning to take the subscription so you can use my code vani yt so with this referral code you will be getting 10 percent discount on the subscription all right so let's get to the topic that is fertilization in case of flowering plant yes am i audible Okay, so the main event of sexual reproduction in plant is fertilization. So what exactly is fertilization resulting in exchange of characters? So exchange of characters are occurring. So what is that exchange of character? Male is having, uh, male, like you know, whenever we are saying a fertilization, so there is a male gamete. Okay, so male gamete is there. Then there is female gamete which is present. Okay, so there is male and female gamete have to fuse. So that fusion which is there. Okay, so that fusion itself is called as a fertilization okay so that is the fertilization so what is fertilization so whenever there is a fusion that occurs between a male and a female gamete so that process we call as a fertilization now with respect to this one okay so there is a product that is formed so what is that product which is formed so product formed here after the fertilization occurs so that product is basically a zygote so you can find there is a zygote formation so let's have a look at this one just a second so angiosperms i'll just say about this one so in case of angiosperms what is the meaning of angiosperm the flowering plants okay they show the unique feature of double fertilization so i'll tell you how exactly double fertilization occurs okay so now let's um, talk about the plant okay so in case of plant when we are saying so this is a stigma now okay so there is a style so stigma style and then you know there is a ovary formation so this one is a ovary all right so now this part we call as a stigma all right so this part is style okay and then you can find a ovary there so these are the three parts so overall all of these together so we call it as a carpal okay so it is a carpal or we can also call it as a pistil okay so now attached to the placenta so let's draw a placenta here okay so there will be a placenta okay so we can just show the placenta over here so attached to the placenta you can find that there is a ovule which is present over here so this one is a ovule now okay so where you can find this ovule so that is inside a ovary okay so inside a ovary you can find a ovule having the covering so there are coverings so there is you know internal covering and external so that is we call as a integument okay so these are called as a integument so now this one is a ovule okay and this opening what you see here okay so this opening is called as a micropyle okay so this opening is called as a micropyle just opposite to the micropyle this one what you see so this is called as a chalaza end okay or a chalazal end okay so now this is a structure so all of this is present with so all of this you can find present on to this receptacle or a thalamus okay so now this part we can just write it as a thalamus so attached on to the thalamus you can find this structure okay so that is all of this now what are we going to study we are going to study about a fertilization so how exactly fertilization occurs okay so now as the pollination occurs what is pollination now 
I'll just explain. Okay. So now you know from anther to the stigma, the pollen grains are you know they are reaching. So somehow it can be through the water, it can be through the insect, or it can be through the wind. Okay. So any of the pollinating agents or pollinators are used, and you know in certain cases even pollinators are also not required. So now this pollen grain is gonna reach here. So now what I have drawn here is. Um, pollen grain okay so there is a pollen grain so what do you find in this one so pollen grain will have two of the male gametes okay so there are two male gametes that you will see inside so you know this one i'll just label over here so these two are male gametes so you can find two male gametes in the pollen grain okay so that is that all right so now where exactly is the female uh, ovum or what we call as the egg so where it is present so we will just see this one so now inside the ovary so i'll just write this one okay so inside the ovary what do you find inside the ovary attached to the placenta you will find a ovule okay so inside the ovule what do you find inside the ovule you will find a embryo sac okay so there is an embryo sac that you see so now you know inside we need to draw a embryo sac over here okay so this embryo sac is the one which can have different cells okay so now here we can just show i'll just highlight this part just a second so i can just show you this okay so now the one that i will be drawing here okay so now this one what you see so this is just the embryo sac that i'm drawing okay so now this part is just the embryo sac which will be formed after the development of the female gametophyte so this is now an embryo sac okay so any idea what all will be there in the embryo sac any of you have uh, like you know any idea you guys have so there is you know this side we will just show the anatropus ovule now so there is that means so we will just show a ovule which is attached over here okay so we can just make it like this all right so this is the structure now having the opening as such okay so this is now a ovule okay so this is a ovule so there are integument here okay so this one is now a integument so we can just show it like this which will actually continue backwards so this will continue back okay so now you know this also is continuing at the back so this is towards the chalaza now this opening what you see so this opening is micropyle okay so this is micropyle and this towards this side what you see so that is a chalaza okay so now let's have a look at this embryo sac so this one what i have labeled so this is the embryo sac so let's have a look at the synergid cells okay so you know here the egg nucleus you can find that means egg is there okay so there is a egg nucleus so this one is now what so this is a egg having its own nucleus okay so then you can find a synergid cell so here you can see associated with this you can find a synergid okay so these are now the synergid cells okay so these two all right so these two are synergid all right so now you know synergid will usually help in entry of the pollen tube so once the pollen tube enters you know it will enter through this micropylar end so what will be there in the center so in the center you can find two of the polar nuclei okay so polar nuclei also we can call it or we can also call it as a secondary nuclei okay so this is 2n in number so that is you know this one is a secondary nucleus also we can call it all right so now once that is done so towards the chalazal end what cells do you find so towards the chalazal end you can find there is a antipodal cell so this is now a antipodal cell okay so having its own structure so now this three are basically antipodal cells okay so now you know this what i'm drawing here is 
the embryo sac so let's have a look at this one now okay so this structure you can remember okay so this one what i have drawn so embryo sac itself so same structure i have drawn expanded here okay so let's have a look at what exactly is fertilization so now as the name itself suggests so it is the main event of sexual reproduction in plants that is you know it is called as a fertilization so what exactly is happening sexual reproduction is happening happening that is by combining male gamete and a female gamete so fusion between male and a female gamete so that process we call as a fertilization okay so this is seen in case of angiosperm so now who exactly so why do we say that it is a double fertilization so i'll explain about that so in the year 1898 okay so sir guy namaschin okay so first demonstrated in liliaceous plant so this is a family of plant okay liliaceous so that is you know the plant name is basically lilium martagon okay so these are scientific name but it is this is just the lily flower okay lily plant then you know a fritillaria tenella then double fertilization involves two male gametes and two processes so what is that double fertilization that we always keep on saying okay so two male gametes are there and you know two processes will be occurring so in that case okay so in that case so two parts of double fertilization you will see okay one we call as a syngamy so that is between the egg nucleus or you know the fusion okay so this is a fusion that occurs between egg and you know there is a fusion that is occurring between the uh, <coughs> male gamete okay so egg and the male gamete so what is egg now egg is actually a female gamete okay so female gamete is there male gamete is there so there is a fusion that can be seen so another fusion is what another fusion is between the male gamete okay so anyway as usual the male gamete is present so between the male gamete and so we'll just write and okay so and the polar nuclei okay so polar nuclei are being fused so why do we call it as a triple fusion so why is it called as a triple fusion because polar nuclei are two in number okay and the male nuclei if we have to look at so male nuclei is just one so you can see that three of the nuclei are being fused here so that is why it is called as a triple fusion any doubt yes so that is why this process we call as a triple fusion right okay so now moving on to the next part that is double fertilization so what exactly is double fertilization so what we discuss now that is the syngamy and a triple fusion okay so now in this case in one of the male gamete fuses with the egg to form a diploid zygote so let's have a look at this picture now okay so now you know you can find a germination of this one so there is a pollen grain which is it okay so that pollen grain will start germinating okay so it will start germinating and it will produce a tube okay so now this is a tube where it will take a entry inside so we will just draw the tube completely okay so now this tube will take a entry inside completely and then you know it is entering the embryo sac here you can find a egg okay so there is egg present here so now what will happen so we will just see uh, this thing is so the same process i'll explain it here okay so now as a tube formation which is it so this tube of one second huh. yeah so this tube is entering all right over here okay so it is mainly entering the synergid then through the synergid you know the uh, the male gamete is being transferred to the 
next one so first it will enter the synergy now okay so now what is happening so you can see that there are two of the male gametes which might be present in here okay so we can just change the color of maybe the egg here because i have drawn a blue one so we so just for differentiation okay so now what will happen as the tube is formed so this tube is actually entering the synergy now you know one of the male gamete what is this so we will just show it here so these are the male gametes that we find so this particular male gamete is reaching here so one of the male gamete will enter the egg cell okay so now what you see here this is no more egg so once the one of the egg is reaching this particular part that is mainly what do we see so that is you know uh, the female reproductive part that is egg okay so that is female cell so once it enters now we cannot call it as a ovum anymore so now this can be called as a zygote okay so after fertilization so this we can call as a zygote only after fertilization okay or otherwise so this is otherwise it is a ovum so now you know only one of the gamete has fused so what about this gamete now so let's draw this one so this will move further okay so there is a further movement or further growth can be seen so you know this is now a pollen tube which has entered so there is one more male gamete so now what will happen so this particular male gamete what you find in here okay all right one second so that particular movement i mean that particular male gamete what you find there okay so this so we will just draw one second okay so now you know there was a one more male gamete which was remaining so that gamete will reach so it will pass through the synergy then you know it will be reaching here okay so now what you see here so this is now a male gamete so what you could see so here one fertilization has occurred okay so there was one fertilization number one we can mention so there is one more fertilization that is occurring so this is another fertilization so let's say this is the second fertilization so in that case what do you see so there is a double fertilization that is occurring okay so double fertilization we can see so whenever there is a growth that is occurring so now this is one fertilization where the product is zygote now this one is called so this particular fertilization which has occurred so this fertilization is called as syngamy okay so i'll just write it here so this is called as a syngamy what about the other one so this triple fusion so second fertilization what is there so this is called as a triple fusion and you know this center cell which is here so this big cell what you find I'll just put a outline so that you understand just a second so now you know this big cell what you see here so this complete big cell is basically a central cell okay so this central cell with this endosperm nucleus so whatever nucleus is present here so this one is called as a, a primary endosperm nucleus okay after the triple fusion the product which we obtain so product here is not a zygote the product here is primary endosperm nucleus which you can find in a primary endosperm cell okay so that you will find in a primary endosperm cell so now you know zygote or you know syngamy when we mention so one male gamete fuses with the egg to form a diploid zygote the zygote is also referred to as 2n because there is a female gamete there is a male gamete so this is not just one set you can find two sets so two sets of chromosomes are there so we call it as a 2n okay and the process is called as a generative fertilization okay now synergy that has been penetrated by the pollen tube 
uh, releases the gamete so that is generating now this diploid zygote develops into an embryo so what exactly happens to this zygote now so later on the same zygote is the one that is getting or that is the one which is becoming a embryo okay so let's have a look at the double fertilization that is again triple fusion okay so what exactly is triple fusion now so remaining male gamete okay so remaining male gamete goes to the polar end okay so there is a polar nucleus which is in so that will go to the polar end and fuses with the two of the polar nuclei so you could find there are two of the polar nuclei and you know male nuclei is fusing with them so now this three of them are getting fused so this we call as a triple fusion okay so there is a triple fusion that you can see that means it is three and in number so three sets of chromosome you can find and you know once the triple fusion is done the product is called as a primary endosperm nuclei so now this is having a three haploid nuclei that means three n forming the triploid that is primary endosperm nucleus so product is p e n okay so primary endosperm nucleus where do you find that you find that in a p e c primary endosperm cell so a central cell is now going to become once the fertilization is done so central cell is now going to become a primary endosperm cell okay so this primary endosperm cell will later on is the one which will be forming the endosperm okay so that is mainly for the development of a plant so endosperm is required so endosperm is uh, what does it do it is doing the function of nourishment so it nourishes the embryo while it develops so as the development is happening so the embryo is nourished so that when we sow it in a plant so it is getting enough amount of nutrient through the root as well as through the you know photosynthesis also okay so anyway in the very beginning photosynthesis won't happen because you know the plumule is just developing so it is completely endosperm is the one which is looking looking after the nourishment for the developing embryo okay so any doubts you guys have so i cannot see your chat actually i don't know what is uh, wrong all right so let's have a look at the summary which is given here okay so double fertilization is uh, seen in case of angiosperm as two male gametes fuse okay so two ends of the ovary so this is basically male gamete gets fused with the female gamete so now you know this product is zygote okay so fusion of one male gamete with the egg is called as a syngamy so here the specific term instead of fertilization we can use it as a syngamy now there is a triple fusion that is occurring so that is one of the male gamete with the polar nuclei so two polar nuclei are there so one of the male gamete is also going so there is one big cell what you see okay so now in this case this one is a primary endosperm nucleus this whole cell is a primary endosperm cell which will later on becomes the endosperm in order to nourish the developing embryo okay so now diploid zygote develops into an embryo so this is going to become an embryo so this is going to become a endosperm so here you cannot see this one second okay so this one will become a endosperm later on that is triple fusion product so with the polar nuclei it is called as a triple fusion so zygote develops into an embryo and later so embryo itself later on this itself is going to develop into a seed okay so in that case you know the covering what is there so ovule which you saw okay so only the zygote part what is there so that will become a embryo rest of this remaining part what is it so that we consider our embryo sac which is in this ovule so that is considered as the one which is going to become a 
seed okay so now primary endosperm cell develops from tipal fusion to form an endosperm and that is basically around the embryo so there is an endosperm here so you could see here this was an egg okay so here the male and female gamete fused and surrounding was basically the PEC okay so now what you can understand with this one so with this you can understand that the primary endosperm cell develops from the trifin fusion that is to form an endosperm so this is anyway becoming endosperm but the embryo formation so embryo is also inside so this cannot get separated so now this whole structure we call it as a seed okay so endosperm development precedes embryonic development so how exactly embryonic development will occur so there is a formation of a plumule there is you know this one is radical so there is a formation of a plumule that can be seen okay so this is about the uh, fertilization process that we see in case of um, um, plants that is mainly angiosperms okay yes so uh, any doubts you have so if you have any doubts you can ask okay so any doubts you have you can ask all right then okay so now uh, let's have a look at uh, before i end this session so let me just see about uh, certain features of uh, an academy okay so there is a guardians batch okay so this batch is starting new so 16th of april that means it has already started ongoing batch itself but still only like you know two or three classes are done so there is a option where you can watch the recording or we are coming up with a new batch also but for guardians batch the mode of delivery is english so depending on your preference you can go for any of these batches so let's see you are subscribing for class 9 you will be getting icsc class 10 to 12 subscription absolutely free okay so now this is the orientation week that we are talking about you know it is going to start from 12th and it is till 17th of april so in this one uh, you can just take up this session and you know we will be conducting a quiz also in these sessions okay so each of the educators will be conducting their own subject quiz so you can attend the quiz over here okay so if you are there on top three on the leaderboard so you will be getting a amazon voucher worth rupees 500 so this is the giveaway that we have okay so if you are planning to uh, you know uh, attend this session so you can attend all of this orientation session so any of the session if you come top three in one of the sessions so that is fine so you will get a amazon vouchers which is worth rupees 500 okay so introducing community so never miss on any update from your favorite educator so get session notes and practice material share your feedback directly with the educator via poll okay so you can go for any of these then um, bucks bounty one second all right so this link you will find uh, for the educator community you can find this in the description box so now this is opportunity for all learners to report any inappropriate content in the video be the first one to report a particular issue to claim your prize report any inappropriate content using the form in the description so how you can watch my special classes so download the an academy learner app okay so once you download that open the app and click on get started okay then you can enter your mobile number and ot okay so you can enter your mobile number there all right so once you do that you can sign up using your email id so what is required your mobile number and the email id is required so there are two separate categories so there is a competitive exam and then you know class 6 to 12 so now as of now you can go with the class 6 to 12 so the, you know you can select so here anyway they have not shown icse but icse is a new category so you can find icse also so you can select icse 9 10 or maybe if you are looking for isc class 11 and 12 so that can also be done so now since you are in icse class 9 you can go with this one okay so which language would you prefer to learn in so if you prefer to learn in english 
or maybe hindi or english so depending on your comfort you can go for any of these batches okay so once you are done so basically you can find the link of the special classes here in the description box then you know you can click on notify me to get notified about the session about 10 minutes before itself okay so you can also use my code vani yt so as the offer is going on right now so you can use this code vani yt to get 10% discount so what is that offer so i'll just write it here so basically if you are taking a 12 months of subscription so 2 months is free that means total of 14 months subscription you are getting free along with that 3 months of creative corner so what is creative corner if you want to enhance your hobbies okay so like you know astronomy astrophysics workshop maybe a vedic mathematics chess then music and art art and craft so any of these uh, you know if you want to have access so you can go for the subscription today itself and the referral code that you can use is vani yt okay so with this referral code you will be getting 10% discount okay so 10% discount on the subscription so you know you will be getting 12 plus 2 that is 14 months of subscription if you are going for 12 months you are getting a 14 month subscription with 3 months creative corner so you can go for it today itself or tomorrow because tomorrow is the last date for the offer okay so thank you all see you all in the next session uh, click on bell icon to get notified about the classes subscribe to our channel that is an academy icsc and isc boards like and share the video download the an academy learners app now the pdf anyway i can send on my telegram channel that is vani kari icsc class 9 and 10 so you can search me over there okay so icsc class 9 and 10 biology so you can join this channel any updates regarding the classes i'll be sending them all right uh bye bye by elon musk okay bye bye uh take care i hope you understood any doubts you have you can ask so you can um, uh, you know join my telegram channel vani kari icsc class 9 and 10 so any doubt you have you can get it clear there also okay all right then so i'll end this session so any doubts you have uh, you can join in them all right bye bye take care so now i'm getting yours maybe uh, nobody was commenting i guess so i am getting it now so the chat was also not visible anyway all right then bye bye take care